A memory that I can never forget is a prayer letter I wrote to God in my early years. I remember I was up late one night crying while my mother was asleep. As I wrote this letter, I remember feeling alone and in a dark place. That place stemmed from bullying, taunting that took place in elementary and middle school the severe poverty we lived in, the brokenness from trauma that occurred, no self-esteem, worried where my next meal would come from, scared for my mom to lose us to DCF, my mom's depression, worried about my dad's mental and physical health, full of fear for what's ahead and thought, why does my life matter? In that letter I wrote to God, I said, when I grow up, I pray I make a positive difference in thousands of lives. I believe this prayer became my reality. Coming of age, I knew there was something in me that made me different. And despite every obstacle, I realized my life had a purpose. I grew up in soup kitchen lines, community food pantries, taking advantage of social services, and my mom pawning her belongings to provide our basic needs. My father died to his alcohol addiction, lost everything ended up homeless, living on the streets, and that motivated me to create a legacy that would honor him. I refuse to let my struggle define me or I fall into a negative statistic. My mom always encouraged me to always want more for myself, stay humble, and never forget where I come from. I'm from Immokalee. I am the second oldest of five children, but the first to graduate high school, college, and now have my master's degree in social work. As I look back, my vision and my passion align with my purpose, which made me relentless to never give up. My dream was to use my platform to teach, love, and help people find their purpose. My passion is to serve in love. Love is a verb, so it's what you do and how you do it that leaves an impact. I'm truly favored to be nominated, yet won this award in 2019 against all odds. In 2015, I started an outreach called Love is Not an Option. This outreach serves the people who are suffering from homelessness. We create bags of toiletries and provide meals to those in need. As I look back, my vision and my purpose aligned with my passion, which made me relentless to never give up. Love is my motive. Love is my intention. I close with this. Define your own level of success by the standard you create, whether that is a college degree, obtaining a high school diploma, or becoming a mother. Your life may not be easy, but realize in the weakest moments is where your strength is developed and resilience arises. Be your own success story and don't forget to give back. This award is an affirmation of what I do and why I do it. So thank you.